Hi guys, long time no see. Um, right, I'm not really, I'm having a bit of a moan today. Um, so I've sent a, I've had, thank you very much for all the good reviews I've had, but I have had one person make a bad review, thumbs down on most of my videos. Um, I just want to say why and explain. Um, now for me, I'm a sign writer, I'm actually at the end of my career now as I sort of don't do much of it anymore. I don't get paid for promoting anything. Um, I just do it more as a hobby if people want to come in for me restoring an old motorbike, do a bit of pinstripe and things like that. Or the odd sign. But really, I'm on my hobbies now. My bike, motorbike comes first. I love my motorbike riding and trying to fly my radar control planes. But that is really what I do now. So this really is now secondary. I don't get paid any money for promoting anything. It's just that someone said to me, well, you've got a lot of knowledge, why don't you just maybe just pass on a few hints and tips to, um, to the people out there who are learning the game. So, the reason for my moan today. Brushes. Um, obviously, when you finish your brush, you wash it out, as we said before. For me, and this is an old sign, Ryan, so it was probably started off in the early 1900s. Um, they used to use... A mixer of grease and oil to mix into their brush once they cleaned it and that would obviously with the white spirit that would mix with the white spirit it would mix with the paint it would get deep down into the ferrule or the quill depending on what you're using and that would stay wet for 40 50 years it doesn't dry out so therefore the next time you wash your brush out in some white spirit even the paint residue that's left in there still washes out no dry bits no nothing so then it's good to go once you've dried it off and you start sign writing again now believe it or not i'm 57 years of age now i know i don't look it but i'm 57 years of age now and these are some of my first brushes that i had when i was 16. now they have worn down a bit because I don't know if any of you know, but when you do posters, the paper, it does tend to, it's good for doing posters to get an, a new brush broken in, but it does wear your brushes down a little bit quicker than sign writing on a nice smooth vehicle. But these are ones I've had since I was 16, and I can still wash them out, still use them, no dry paint in there, nothing. So, when I tell you that using a mix of oil and grease, you don't want it too thick because then you're pulling on the hairs getting it in so that's pulling hairs out which you don't want to do you don't want it too thin either because you don't want it slopping everywhere so just a nice consistency so your brush will stay in a good shape now the rent someone who i don't want to mention any names steve um he's promoting his own care products now, as I say, I'm not into getting any money or nothing. I'm just passing on tips. Now, think about it. The coach painters, many, many years ago, start of the century, they painted, hand-painted vehicles. And what they would do, they would hang their brush up in a pot of linseed oil. And then the next day, they would take it out, wipe off the residue, stir it in with the paint and carry on. Now, your oil-based paints... And there's part of a clue, oil-based paint. Um, you're not going to ruin the hairs on your brushes at all. I mean, this is a sable mix. Um, what you have to think of, uh, white spirit, it's all the same sort of thing as oil, etc. It's, it's, you're not going to damage the hairs of your brush. And it's proof, because these are 40-odd years old. And the sign writer before has been using it in the early 1900s that I learned from. So the proof is in the pudding, it doesn't harm your brushes. Now, the one thing that does kill a sign writing brush is if you change to a water-based product for if you need to paint something in water-based emulsion or whatever to match something, that, yeah, that does tend to kill your brush really. But using um, cellulose thinners on a brush, probably the most harmful product that sign writers or liners would probably use if they're using two-pack paints would be that type of uh, solvent. Cellulose thinners is probably the most harsh. White spirit bases, nothing at all really. So, 
no matter what anyone tells you, the product, it works. Now, if you are one of these type of um, new generation and you don't like getting paint on your fingers or you feel um, you want to wear gloves when you do it, then yes, the oil and the grease, it may give you a bit of an irritation, it may be something you don't like, but generally you wash your hands afterwards, it's not a problem. But your brushes will stay good for longer than you are and long after you've gone if you clean and grease them properly. Now, while we're here, just on another little quick um, couple of little things really. One thing I did notice, we have a little water machine and we get these little cheap plastic cups. And believe it or not, these little cheap plastic cups, which we get about 100 in a thing, maybe more, and they cost, I don't know, we're in Spain, it costs us about a euro. It's nothing. They're solvent proof. You can put white spirit in them, or you can put cellulose thinners in. They do not eat through. They are perfect cutting up for little dippers for your palate. So rather than try and use to look down for aerosol tops and things like that, these work really well. And one last tip before we go to is only a quick rant. When we use our sign writing paints and we keep opening the lid and putting it back on and so on, eventually we get a layer of film over the paint and it gets more and more. And then eventually we end up some paint that gets a little bit contaminated with bits of old paint. A lot of people ask you know, about straining the paint. Simplest thing that I was taught, get a pair of your wife's old tights, making sure she's not wearing them, cut a little piece off. Then what we'd do, we'd have our container, we would put the tights over the top, pour the paint into it, we'd scoop it all out into there, and then when we have enough paint in there for whatever we're working on, you would then pick up your tights, it would hang like a little balloon, and then we would just wipe off all the paint into the container. And all the bits you didn't want would be staying there in the little pair of tights, which you then put in the bin. Paint would have no bits and pieces in it at all. It's a quick, easy way to strain your paints. That's all you need. Anyway, that's my little rant over, so not mentioning any names again, but Steve, you can promote your own products. People can buy whatever they want to put on their brushes, brill cream, you can do whatever, you don't have to take my advice. But all I know is, if you do grease your brushes up, they'll be good long after you've gone. Um, and that's all I can say really. I am going to get on with some other videos. I think we'll do one on um, one stroke, which is a very quick style of lettering. Um, it's very easy and it's something as an apprentice we used to like doing, so it actually meant we could... Um, actually do some work rather than just be in the background making pounces or practicing phone numbers. So that was something quite good but the one stroke was really designed for doing posters because it didn't require any straight lines anything like that. Um, so that is something I will do a video on for and I'm sorry I haven't been doing many lately as I say it's not my job anymore now I'm just doing this really just to try and pass on some information but you don't have to do what I do. Everyone has to learn their own thing as they go on and we, learn, we make mistakes and we learn by them and that's how we get to where we are. And mistakes can be actually a good thing because some good things come out of mistakes and then try and reproduce them and we get better. So that's it guys for now. I will speak to you very soon with another video. Um, but it just something wound me up that someone made a comment saying it was harmful to your brushes. Putting oil and grease on your brush. What, like putting oil-based paint on your brushes and, you know, that's what they're made for. So, anyway guys, it's up to you, but just give it a try because it does work and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for listening to my rant. That's me, Cliff out. Thank you, bye-bye.